Hello, we're Team 1038 with the Skills USA Broadcast News Competition. Um, I wanted to show you a bit about our studio. So we've got our audio control board, we've got our TriCaster suite with everything set up here, and we've got my headset. And now I'll take you into our um, studio, show off our setup. We've got our three camera setup with our desk for anchors to set up. We've got our floor manager's headset. Um, while we edit it, we're all gonna be wearing our face masks and sitting social distancing. Um, my floor manager and I will be wearing our face coverings while we're doing the actual run throughs. Our anchors won't be wearing their face masks while we record, but they will be sitting three feet apart. So yeah, team 1038 is ready for the competition. Ready, starting. I think we start with the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, uh, the fully vaccinated people, and the new guidelines that they're going to be releasing. Okay. Yeah, I think that's a good story that we can start out with. I'll convert it all to lowercase and change it to a new Google Doc. Gotcha. And I'm going to be checking out the sports story and weather story and see what we can do with those. After the one about the guidelines, our first story, should we do the one about like the, um, the COVID-19 testing? Yes, like an analysis over that. Yeah. It's yeah. quite a good cool. transition, yeah. Alright, cool. Alrighty. I'll put that into the thing. I'll put that. I put that in the small paper clip clipsuits that mm -hmm. we need to go. It's a great idea. Do that. Um and for the notes that they gave us, they are we going to do the kicker about the with the kidneys, how they the Georgia um Siblings gave to the Arkansas siblings. You want yeah. to do that as a kicker? Yeah. All right. We can do that. Just make sure to make it conversational. All right. I'll make sure to do that. I'll put titles for each of them so we know where to put our stories under. We do have a major rain front coming in for Jonesboro um, the next week after, so I'll make sure to put that in there. And thunderstorms that weekend. The Facebook one about the Facebook ads, I don't think that is as important as um, the U.S. infrastructure. And I mean, if it's like we need more time, we can add that story. Add, add that story, but no, no, it's not too high. I mean, on looking at it, we should have more than enough world and national stories. All right, and for the other notes about the fake lottery ticket, the Jonesboro State University and how there's been a counterfeit ring. Mm -hmm. We should put that, I think, before the sports. Okay. So we can go into it. So state news, we go to sports. Okay. Which one are you gonna go? We wrap up the main news, then go to sports, and just slowly get lighter and lighter with it. Absolutely, that sounds like a great idea. Right. Um, after the, after we do the CDC, like the, not the, the testing, should we do the, um, like the projects Nancy, Nancy Pelosi said was kicked out of like the bill. Edward. Oh uh, yeah, the two the two bills. Yeah, they're not gonna be in the relief package. Yeah. 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 Because of mm -hmm. spending. Absolutely do that. Very important. I'm gonna go through and capitalize the letters that needed to capitalize because it got rubbed. Make sure we have a line so we can get 30 seconds for each new story. Um, the weather's probably going to be around 40 seconds. Um, if I'm going to do an expected forecast for the next week, or then we're starting Wednesday, so I'll make sure to. We make sure we, that it's what should the, the title for the Nancy Pelosi story be? Um, like just relief bill. Um, COVID-19 bill. I believe news about the relief bill. What are we putting after the relief bill? Pretty much get in all the major details. Um, they're talking about the, the relief bill, like how much money is being spent, how much is being taken out, um, and what states, like New York, I believe, is one of the states, or yeah, is mm -hmm. going to be worked on. So we need to make sure that is included. Any minor details um, we can take out if it's not as important. So we need to make sure we keep that in mind. Mason, what are you using to convert the thing over to lowercase? Uh, the website. Only 
to look at. And do you think we should take out the um about JJ Watt, the um, NFL star? If you look at it, um, about his two-year deal with the Cards, the terms of agreement were not released. Should we mention that in there? Yeah, I think we can put that in there. I believe so. If not, we can take it out. It's not too big of details. Um, let's see. Yeah, that can work. Our first story and our second story both have to do with the CDC. So for our transition, we could do something like in other CDC news or in other news released by the CDC. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We could do something like that. Um, it is okay if I change um, that sentence when it says um, guide or the guidelines. I change it to guidelines. Yes, change it to guidelines, not guidance. Okay. We want to make sure that's smooth and whoever's um, listening or reading it, mm -hmm. they can they can understand it quite clearly. I also shortened the sentence and made it to where it says the agency will release the final line finalized guidelines later this week. Yeah, that'll do it. Sweet. With the weather broadcast I'm looking at, it says, so Friday's gonna have cloudy skies and to be much more smooth and casual, I'm gonna say you're like rolling in rather than just like, we're gonna have cloudy skies. I'm gonna say cloudy skies are rolling in Friday. Winds out of the northeast, 13. Yeah, keep it smooth. Does that sound good? Nice yeah, I gotcha. Kinda of gives it a more upbeat tone about that. Yeah. And rather I'm, than just fact. Yeah, and I'll make sure the uh, next week we have a lot of showers and some thunderstorms into the weekend. I want to make sure I get that in there. Don't forget if there's a number, you have to uh, type it out. Yeah, you're right. Can you read all those? Yeah, I almost skipped over that. that oh. Yes, I can read over that. Make sure it's all good. Um, can you look at the weathers there and see if there's anything I can add, make it more casual in there? Can you do that? Mm -hmm. All right, thank you. Looks, looks good to me. You mentioned um, some guidelines even for traveling. I think it's a pretty important detail. Good job. Thank you. With the COVID-19 testing, um, can we try to make it seven lines, keep it short, so we can have some some extra time near the, the kicker, just in case. Of course, we're gonna have um, kind of highlights over our kicker in case we do need a shorten it. I already that. see some extra stuff we can get rid of. All right. I can see some of the notes that we can remove in the doing the counterfeit ring. Mm -hmm. There's some stuff that we can take out. Make it short just in case we need to. And how about for the teaser? I think we mentioned the CDC guidelines, get into that. More about the, the mask mandate being lifted. I think it's pretty important. Yeah, I feel like um, everyone wants to know about that. I can do the teaser. All right. Thanks for letting me show you things. All right. Um, while working on the teaser, could somebody work on the relief, the roof? The relief bill? Yeah, gotcha. I'll just I'll finish editing on that. I'll look at it. Is there anything more that I need to add to the weather in order to go check over that? I don't think so, yeah. I like the, the forecast. It seems you guys.
that I'll be done. Alright. I'm gonna look over this board as well. Okay, I'm gonna go here and add punctuation and if something needs to be capitalized. Gotcha. What exactly do you think we should put for the teaser about the CPC guidelines? Well, I'm thinking, um, hmm. See, the CDC released new guidelines for people that are fully vaccinated. But that's like, that's kind of tough. Is that story? Um. That's like a good portion of it. Yeah, for the teaser. You can just tease it, give them the guidelines right into that. To tell them that we're, we're going to be telling, uh, what is it? New guidelines. So we could say like new back. guidance for vaccinated individuals. Or yeah. like new guidance for vaccinated individuals from the CDC. That works. Punctuation and capitalization is the over the news over the week though. Mm -hmm. Alright, gotcha. And I'll go ahead and convert some words. Testing. Should the third teaser be about the relief bill? Um, yes, it should be about the relief bill. We can also tease about the scandal at the Jonesboro State University, though. Yeah. And that's at the very end, too, so it'll keep them watching. That's what I'm working on right now. Okay. Yeah, I think instead of talking more about the uh, coronavirus relief bill, we can just kind of get into that uh, right. counterfeit ring. Scandal there? Because I mean, the stuff with the relief bill, it's stuff that has to do with places in like San Jose and Santa Clara, while the Jonesboro State University is right at home, and it'll keep them more interested. Stories that need to edit right now. You might finish the teaser. You might want to check um, the U.S. infrastructure story. All right, thank you, Ruby. Stand by, get in positions. Fifteen seconds to air. Ten seconds. Four minutes. And 
one. Three minutes. One minute. Slow down. Slow down. On Skills USA News, the CDC has released new guidelines for vaccinated individuals. More about the mask mandate being lifted. And all you need to know about the counterfeit scandal at Jonesboro State University. Good afternoon, I'm Cole Mitchell. And I'm Eliza Westmoreland. The Center for Disease Control and Prevention is set to put out new guidelines for people who have been fully vaccinated against the coronavirus. According to a CDC official, the agency will release the finalized guidelines this week. The guidelines will include recommendations that people who have been vaccinated to limit social interactions, stick to small home gatherings, keep wearing masks, and social distance once fully vaccinated. In more news from the CDC, some health officials are concerned about a decline in COVID-19 testing. The COVID tracking project shows test rates have dipped by a quarter since mid-January. According to the Centers for Disease and Prevention Control, those tests are critical to controlling the pandemic, even as vaccinations are underway. The agency points to case numbers that are plateauing and coronavirus variants that are spreading. The CDC reports that by March, we could have as many as 564,000 deaths. 
In other COVID-19 news, despite the mask mandate being lifted, face masks will remain a must at many big businesses in Texas and Mississippi. Several big box retailers and pharmacies will continue to require masks for both customers and employees. This includes places like Target, Kroger, Best Buy, Macy's, and Toyota. However, grocery stores like HEB and Albertsons will require masks for their employees only. For customers, masks will be recommended. The two states are ditching mask requirements despite a pushback from health experts. And in other pandemic news, according to Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi, two controversial projects will be pulled from the $1.9 trillion COVID-19 relief bill that passed in the House. The projects were criticized as poor spending since it's unrelated to coronavirus relief. The relief package now will no longer include the $140 million extension of the Bay Area Rapid Transit Line from San Jose to Santa Clara. The package will also no longer include the $1.5 million for the Seaway International Bridge from upstate New York to Canada. The Senate has not voted on the relief bill. And now for your weather. The forecast for the Jonesboro area calls for clear skies tonight with a slight chance of rain and a low will stay near 37. The winds will be out of the west at 10 to 15 miles per hour, sifting to the southwest later on. Tomorrow, look for sunny skies and a high of 67. We'll have northeasterly winds at 5 miles per hour. Friday, expect a slight chance of rain with cloudy skies rolling in and a low of 36. Our winds will be out of the east at 13 miles per hour, then out of the northeast later that afternoon. Finally, Saturday and Sunday, we'll have mostly sunny skies, and the week after, we'll see a possible major rain front with possible thunderstorms within that weekend. Now back to your news. According to the American Society of Civil Engineers, the United States gets an overall grade of C- on infrastructure for 2021. This is actually a slight improvement for America, and the group says this is the first time the nation's infrastructure has scored above the D range in two decades. Even so, the society's executive director says it's certainly not a grade to be proud of. The group evaluated the U.S. on 17 major categories, including aviation, roads, bridges, drinking water, energy, and schools. At the top of the class was rail. Meanwhile, transit scored the lowest. And in state news, four faculty members and three students were arrested at a Jonesboro State University. Faculty members Justin Case, Kara Mel, Willie Makit, Perry Winkle, and student Sung Young Guy Temptation and Alphabet were all arrested yesterday. The arrests were made during an FBI sting operation that's been investigating a suspected counterfeit ring for the past 10 months. A phony $10 bill used to purchase a lottery ticket in the Jonesboro area sparked the investigation. The university has refused to make any statements on the arrest. In sports, NFL star J.J. Watt will be suiting up for the Arizona Cardinals next season. The 31-year-old previously played for the Houston Texans. His 10-year professional career includes three Defensive Player of the Year honors, and he is a five-time Pro Bowl pick. Watt is the only pro football player in league history to collect multiple seasons of at least 20 quarterback sacks, which he did in 2012 and in 2014. Here's a story that is as heartwarming as that is hard to keep up with. It all starts with two pairs of three siblings from Jonesboro. Anita Job, Pearly White, and Billy Goat are all siblings from Jonesboro that needed to get a treat kidney transplants. Enter Barbie Doll, Cinderella, and Lee Bruce, all from Georgia. Bruce and White were already friends, so each of the Georgia natives generously donated a kidney to the Arkansas siblings. Doll gave a kidney to White, Rella donated a kidney to Job, and Bruce gave one of his kidneys to Go. All six siblings are doing well, although Rella did have some complications, but is expected to recover. And that's Skills USA News, Weather, and Sports. I'm Cole Mitchell. And I'm Eliza Westmoreland. And you have a good afternoon.